So this is my first foray into heating with electricity with a fancy Mitsubishi mini split. So it's in the frost mode right now. It's gonna be hard to film this because the camera sucks on this phone. You just can't, it wants to focus on everything close to it. I can't focus on the coil in the back, but it's pretty frozen. <laughs> and it's rainy outside, so the humidity is way up there. And my bucket is, the line is frozen solid, so it's not draining. There she goes. She's defrosting. I never realized how much condensate a mini split makes when it's in heating mode. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> Look at this. This is nuts. That don't even happen inside with the air conditioner. <clears throat> of course, the coil doesn't freeze up when you're in AC mode. At one point, I was using this to catch the water. I thought that would be enough. Nope. I got a six-gallon bucket here, and she's almost full. She's splashing everywhere. But, uh, yeah. Defrost mode. Wish I could focus in on that stupid coil. I can't. It's a little icy. I don't know what the camera's picking up. Probably nothing. But that's something to plan for if you're going to run one of these things. We're up in New England, Massachusetts, so uh, this isn't the best way to heat your house. It's, you're going to have uh, one very warm room and a bunch of really cold rooms, especially if you've got an old house like this. So uh, it's just the way it is. Electricity is not the way to heat your place. You gotta burn something to get if you want to be warm you know but uh anyway and she's still draining <laughs> makes a lot of noise yeah don't forget to put uh some type of vibration isolators on there otherwise all that noise will go right into your house if you have it mounted on a wall like i do this isn't an ideal spot to start with them inside a porch so as you can see enclosed porch but we got plenty of windows open to keep the air out it's not ideal but it does the job so now she's kicking back on oh nice warm breeze oh semi warm warmer than the outside air normally it's blowing ice cold when it's in heating mode because it's just running backwards you can see all the condensation on the top here this whole unit it's definitely not a way I would recommend heating your whole house unless you've got perfect insulation you know if you can well Massachusetts if you, <laughs> you make the big bucks to afford a new house around here so that's just not happening in my life not my lifetime is what it is it's good enough for this time of year it's only 40 degrees out so it's good enough to take the chill off but once the real winter comes yeah we're not gonna be uh heating with that we'll be heating with the oil so that's the unit right there not very far away from the from the uh, heat pump there's nothing coming out of it right now because it's waiting for the waiting for the temperature to come back up again. And then once the temperature comes back up, it'll spool up that fan and kick back on again. It's an interesting way of doing it. It's really efficient as far as electric heating goes, but it's uh, yeah, I would. No way I would heat my whole house with this thing. We we have been for the last couple of months, but of course it's not winter yet. R real winter is coming. You know, when you start getting down single digits, below zero, this thing just, there's no way. It's just not going to cut it. We have, it barely keeps up when it's in the upper 20s. 
the thing's at full bore. I got the fan on maximum high and it has a hard time maintaining the temperature. So anyway, that's that. It's a Bishi Mini Split.